tell us about how the relationship of Young Living and the farm here has been beneficial to you. The relationship with Young Living has been immensely beneficial because they've given us the contract to know that we're going to have money coming in every mm. month so that we can do the right things for the forest mm. to ensure that the forest is sustainable. And, um, you know, if we didn't know that economic stability was there, mm -hmm. you know, we'd be chasing the dollar every month. Mm. But having the partnership with Young Living and having being partnered with such a credible um, company has really, really um, led us live the dream or live my dad's dream mm -hmm. of bringing back the forest, which is like the loudest machine in the whole world. Mm -hmm. But these are all dead trees that these are, are dead used, and dying trees. Dead yeah, so and dying. See, so this tree was probably standing and if you were to look at it, it would still have branches that had green leaves on it, but the center is already rotten. Mm -hmm. And so that still has oil in it and that's still viable. And the roots, more importantly, is still alive. And so by taking out this tree, you take out the perpetual bud of that tree of that root system and now all the individual roots all are looking for their own perpetual bud mm. and starting to make their own perpetual bud in in you know short they make their own tree mm. so by taking out one tree and leaving the roots in there and that's the biggest thing is taking out the root ball which is this right here taking out the root ball and cutting off and severing off all of the roots from its perpetual bud so that all of these roots mm. from here will now start its own bud and so we've gotten from one tree taking out one root ball I think the most we've got is like 38 or 40 new trees. Hmm. Um, we've, but the average is about 14 to 16. Um, the biggest thing, you know, Darwin is not going to allow all of them to survive. But if three or four of them survive, mm -hmm. you've got three or four hundred percent more trees than you had at the beginning of the day. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. And from that, you're going to need three or four hundred percent more other Hawaiian forest trees. So that's the biggest thing. Like I was saying, is we've got over 100 new sandalwood trees, but we've got over 500 new native mm. Hawaiian trees. Mm. So the forest now is on the right path back to where mm -hmm. it should be. Mm. And it's really, really exciting mm -hmm. to see what it's going to look like. And I can't wait to see what my daughter sees when she's up here and what her kids mm. see. Mm. And it's, you know, as savvy as that sounds, it's it's a romance story. Mm. And it's, it's really, really pretty. And it's really, really you know, heartwarming to think of what it's going to look like. Mm -hmm.